exploring Jim Sterling, a creator's downfall via the disease of wokeness. Now, I did send Darkie an example of, of Jim Sterling going down the drain, courtesy of Atreus, fine fellow creator. Now, Jim Sterling was one of the early content creators who made a name for himself highlighting the problem with popular culture, especially in terms of the gaming world, as well as other forms of, of pop culture. But in recent years, he's gone completely fucking mental and has become the very thing he swore to destroy and has effectively become a tranny demon. Now, I know, Darky, I sent you this and you couldn't bear it. I, I couldn't get through. You. This was the one I couldn't get through. I, I just, the imagery was just, oh, it's, it's giving me shivers. Just. <laughs> well, since he wouldn't do it voluntarily, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to share my screen and show you a quick, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What a disgusting creature. I'm going to show you a great example of this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've typed in Jim Sterling transition, and I am sharing my screen. This used to be Jim Sterling, and this is now Jim Sterling. It was mostly the the like him bre breastfeeding toys that really did me. <laughs> in for the, I just I couldn't I couldn't anymore. So I don't even one hundred percent know what the context mm. of the video was. I couldn't really get that far into it. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to try and share my screen again so we can show. Oh, thank you, Smash JT. I'm going to share it right now. Uh, share the screen, <laughs> courtesy of Smash JT, ladies and gentlemen. Jim ah. Sterling, a male cosplaying as a female, is telling gamers that we have no idea what it is like to be a woman. <laughs> be with a woman, not be a woman, to be with a woman. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> what's the fucking difference in this day and age? What um, is a woman, though? Can uh, anyone define a, it? Not a tranny demon. <laughs> there we go. Uh, one word, continuing Smash JT's quote, what? <laughs> it was both bitterly hilarious and entertainingly depressing to see angry nerds typed their outrage with hands that clearly had never so much as brushed a woman's cheek. The woke chin is one of the contemporary obsessions of gender-terrified cis men. This is coming from Jim Sterling, by the way. Uh, cis men. The only cis I know is the Confederacy of Independent Systems, yet tranny demon twat. Nice StarCraft uh, reference. But Star Wars. Star Wars but thank sorry, you. Sorry, sorry. I, my, my, my mm. brain went to StarCraft for some reason. I, I think because it was uh, mm. yeah, Star Wars reference. Sorry. We we all have our bloopers. Yeah. Uh, continuing Jim Sterling, the tranny demons quote, who think policing fictional bodies isn't one of the saddest things in the world, unquote. Now back to Smash JT's statement. Jim, you're welcome to your opinions, of course. Just like we all are. How libertarian of you, Smash. Uh, so here's mine. It's so blatantly obvious that because the direction of making women in gaming look like trans dudes fits your narrative, of course you'd cling to it and demean anyone that dares question it. That doesn't mean someone questioning the direction of the industry has never been with a woman. That is such a pathetically weak take. Now let's expand this. There we go. Would you stop, please? What are you doing to me? Look, ladies and this gentlemen. This is why I this is why my brain is going, oh yeah, StarCraft reference, because I'm distracted <laughs> by whatever the hell this is. My brain's Activate, not processing properly. Activating pictorial PTSD. Wow, 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 wow. But yeah, this is this it's not is not a her, Deborah Cohen. It's not a her. That is a dude. Yeah, that's a tranny <laughs> demon. I mean, Deborah, I know you're aware of narco demons but we're going to introduce you to a tranny demon. And this is a great example of that. 
If you want to call me transphobic, that's fine. But the truth is reality-based. This is going to be the average man in the world where you own nothing and be happy. Okay? I don't want to live in that kind of world. I don't want the next generation to live in that kind of world. Um, Darkie, I don't know if you're a family guy, but do you want the next generation to live in a world where these fuckers are allowed to perpetuate and grow and spread like a disease? No. <laughs> that's, the, that's the basic answer is no. Hmm. Though I, I will say one thing that is hilarious about a lot of the, the far left fringe groups is that they're mm -hmm. self-cannibalizing a lot of the time mm -hmm. because uh you can never get left enough for them mm -hmm. uh so then like it, it, it perpetually becomes more of a problem it's like so then people get pushed further to the center Put oh absolutely i mean i want p as many people as possible to be radicalized by this example of progressive ponsery and that is why i'm keeping it up there for an incredibly uncomfortable amount of time but now i'm going to get rid of it good maybe, maybe my brain will work f will function properly now well fingers crossed fingers crossed but the problem is folks if it can happen to jim sterling talk about the price of success and failure a prominent creator could happen to anyone could happen to me could happen to darky it could happen to all the other fine folks and fellow creators. This is a disease, a societal contagion that is spreading like wildfire, that has infected popular culture, that is indoctrinating the young and the susceptible. And that is why you've got to highlight the problem. You've got to find the solution to said problem and be the change you want to see. Sammy is absolutely correct. As a red-blooded American man with a beautiful woman, he is the archetype of the 20th century male. And that archetype has got to carry on in the 21st century. Otherwise, tranny demons like Jim Sterling are going to be the future. And that is going to be a fate worse than death for the next generation, at least in my view. What do you think, Darky? Do you see a lot of these creatures in your part of the world? I live in New Jersey. You see a lot oh. of crazy shit oh. in New Jersey. <laughs> I live not that far from New York. You go into Manhattan and you see nothing but weird. So, uh, yeah, I've encountered my 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 fair share of of uh, strange, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's perfectly fine to be respectful, Deborah. Although one of the reasons why we should no longer ignore this issue is because it spreads. It's like ignoring AIDS. It's like if you have AIDS and you ignore it, it destroys your immune system and then a cold kills you. It, it, the same goes on a societal level. That's why we had a great talk with the author Stephen Walton, the narco demon slayer himself, who really supports the idea of ignoring and no contacting narco demons as i like to call them that works you can't do that on a societal level especially when it's infecting uh, politics popular culture everything you cannot ignore it otherwise it will get worse and that's why over the past 50 60 even say 70 years it's slowly but surely been that slippery slope to the point where these fuckers can dance completely naked in public, in front of children. That is the one that bothers me the most, by the way. That that is what the pride parades have become. They are mm. no longer about the actual being proud about who you are. It's about weird, indecent exposure. It, it's 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 just such a strain. And, and we're not allowed to say negative things about it, or else we're phobes. It's... Well, I, for one, cannot wait for a new generation of homophobic and transphobic and knowing these fuckers, zoological phobic people, to rise and to be the change that they want to see. Because when that pendulum swings, <laughs> you fuckers ain't going to like it. Because the, the young people, especially in the United Kingdom, uh, though there are more left-wing than right-wing, those that are right-wing, aren't neocon rhino bastards. They're not even conservatives. They're nationalistic. They're what their 
parents and grandparents would consider extreme by their standards. And as people get older, they tend to become more right wing, politically mm -hmm. speaking. So if that is the case, when those young people become middle aged and, and older, whoo, the kind of kind of systems we're going to see in the future. Damn, that's going to be something to behold. But uh, yeah, best of luck to you, Jim Sterling. Fingers crossed you don't sterilize yourself because most of their kind do because they're crazy. It's not offensive. It's the truth. And the truth is reality based. There we go. Ryan with his charm. Darky with his flair. Reality based so sharp. All I knew was here. Reality based. Dark hour. Together we'll be your favorite.